reincarnation. Um, when did you realise that reincarnation was an option? Um, I realised on earth that reincarnation was not a truth. Um, I had many discussions through John the Baptist. John the Baptist was my friend. Uh, he was my cousin, obviously. And he was very mediumistic. He was a very powerful medium and still is a very powerful medium. And so we had the opportunity to talk to many spirits. And I could see that as John and myself changed our spiritual condition, as we raised our spiritual condition, we were talking to different spirits in different conditions. And so I started to realise that these spirits had progressed without coming back to Earth. So it was very easy to see that reincarnation was not something that was necessary for the progression of the soul. So that all occurred in the first, in the first century, um, before I even passed. And the truth is, all of you who are mediums have total ability to investigate the truth of reincarnation. But you need to know which spirit you're connecting to, and you need to ask them about their own progression, you see. Many times a six fear spirit, Paget, Paget had many times a six fear spirit come to him who still believed in reincarnation. And then Paget said, Well, hang on a sec, didn't you progress from the first fear to the sixth fear? Oh, yeah. Did you have to come to Earth for that? No. So why do you still believe in reincarnation then? Oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, I just think it might be true still. Right? And the truth is, it did finish up being true as a, as a teaching, but only when you get to the soul union state. So many of them still had a feeling that it might be a true teaching, but they didn't know that it, the way they were teaching it was false, if that makes sense. Um, Jen, you had a... So what's, what, in, when you're in the spirit world, at what level were you aware that it was a possibility, 17, 18? Um, I felt it was a possibility from, from, a, from all, all of my existence in the sense of there might be some form. I never discount a belief unless it can be completely discounted emotionally. In, terms of, in other words, if it's not harmonious with love, I never discount a belief. So the way I saw it was that there are, there are certain types of beliefs of reincarnation that would certainly be harmonious with love. So for that reason, I never discounted those beliefs through my whole existence. Does that make sense? But I never believed they were possible because I hadn't personally experienced them yet and I couldn't see how that would come about and I didn't see how that would come about until I experienced the soul union state with my soulmate and that occurred around in the 1940s of, 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 of last, last century in the spirit world. So, so there was a large difference between you know, what I thought might be possible and an experiential uh, truth which you finish up experiencing. Yeah. So if you ask any of these spirits who are in the sixth sphere who still believe in reincarnation, have you personally experienced reincarnation? Every one of them, if they were speaking the truth, and most of them by that stage would know they would have to speak the truth, would answer, well, no, I have not. So in fact, any sixth sphere spirit will speak the truth on that matter and know that they have not personally experienced reincarnation. 